is CBS News Miami. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Naja Sherman and welcome to CBS News Miami's 4 p.m. Quick Cast. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Off the top, charges have been dropped against a South Florida man. He was shot six times by police and survived. CBS News Miami's Tanya Francois explains what's next. I'm Tanya Francois at the Metro Day Justice Building. The case against Donald Armstrong for the March 7th police involved shooting is now over. In court today, the prosecutors dropped the misdemeanor resisting arrest charge and after undergoing drug treatment, the case against him for violating his probation on a previous offense is now also cleared. Armstrong's attorney, Larry Hanfield, after the brief hearing said his client is now ready to move on with his life and that includes a civil suit against the city of Miami police for excessive force. Now back in March, an officer shot 47 year old Armstrong six times all over his body. It was captured on video. Armstrong is out of the hospital, but still recovering physically and emotionally. He explained all of this and his injuries in an exclusive interview with CBS News Miami earlier this week. I had a, I have a big hole right here, about that deep in my chest. And I'm saying to myself, wow. And everybody who I know that's in law enforcement say she tried to kill you. That was not a wound that she tried to take your life, Ms. Armstrong. Do you, can you get that? And I'm like, <sighs> Now, coming up tonight on CBS News Miami, Donald Armstrong will speak again to the media, this time about how it feels to officially be free of those charges. I'll have that story tonight at 5 and 6 for now live at the courthouse. Tanya Francois, CBS News, Miami. Scientists say pythons are eating larger animals in the Everglades. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouton tells us more about their findings. Well, just when you thought you've seen everything, take a look at this video. This is a python, a very large python, eating a full-grown deer. These are things you don't see every day. This was an adult female python. She weighed... 115 pounds, she stretched to 14.8 feet, and this was an adult buck uh, that weighed 77 pounds. So a sizable prey item. However, we've seen this before about 10 years ago. We also reported on a 35 pound deer found inside a 31.5 pound python. So what's this doing to the population of wildlife in the Everglades? We'll take a closer look coming up at five. In the Everglades, Ted Scouten, CBS News, Miami. Miami police need your help. They are searching for a driver who they say hit and killed a man and didn't even stop. Police hope someone either saw or heard something. CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner reports from the city of Miami Police Department with what we know so far. They don't have a color yet, but city of Miami police believe they are looking for a Hyundai that has significant damage on the front right side of the car. 2.30 Thursday morning. We received a call of a pedestrian hit in the area of 7th Avenue and 15th Street. Once our officers arrived on the scene, they found an elderly man, maybe with, in his late 50s, early 60s, who had been hit by a vehicle and the vehicle had left the scene. But police have a lead. What we know for now is that the vehicle was possibly traveling northbound and the pedestrian had just stepped out of the curb into the street when he was hit. Um, we think that the vehicle might be a Hyundai, but we're still not positive as we're still investigating it. Whatever vehicle it is will have uh, damage in the front right passenger side. The driver may not have been at fault, but now they are facing serious crimes. If you get involved in an accident, whether you don't have a driver's license, if you don't have insurance, if the car is not registered, it's better for you to stay on the scene than to leave the scene of an accident. Uh, in a case like that, you would get a ticket or something. Now, when you leave the scene of an accident resulting in a death, now you're looking at a criminal prosecution and it could land you with some time in jail. At last check, police are still working to identify the victim, but they said if you have any information to please give them a call. In Miami, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami. And hi, Aliyah. Police say a man was arrested following an attack on another man. Happened last night on the northbound entrance to the Palmetto from 122nd Street. Police say the suspect took off from the scene and a perimeter was set up. The suspect was caught a short time later. The victim was treated for his injuries on the scene. It is unclear what led up to the attack. 
get ready. Election day is 12 days away. Today, former President Donald Trump heads west, while Vice President Kamala Harris returns to Georgia for a star-studded rally. CBS News Miami's Natalie Brand has the latest on the presidential race. Former President Donald Trump returns to the western battleground states of Arizona and Nevada today. Last night, he fired up his conservative base during back-to-back -back events in Georgia. We will fight, 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 and win, win, win. At his rally, he did not comment on the interview former White House Chief of Staff John Kelly gave the New York Times. Kelly warned Trump is an authoritarian and confirmed previous reports Trump had spoken favorably of Hitler. In a post on Truth Social, the former president slammed Kelly as, quote, a total degenerate, a lowlife, and a bad general whose advice in the White House I no longer sought. He's just putting out a 911 call to the American people. At a CNN town hall in Pennsylvania Wednesday night, Vice President Kamala Harris sought to capitalize on Kelly's comments. Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. As she tried to make her case to undecided voters, Harris at times struggled to provide policy specifics and was also pressed on whether she supports a border wall she once called stupid. Agreed so, to a bill on. that would earmark $650 million <laughs> to continue building that we, wall. I I pledge that I am going to bring forward that bipartisan bill to further strengthen and secure our border. Thursday, Harris did pick up the endorsement of another former Republican congressman, Michigan's Fred Upton. I invite every single person across the country, Republican or Democrat, to stand up against the hate and chaos of Donald Trump. The Harris campaign tells CBS News it believes around 10 percent of battleground state voters are still persuadable. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Tonight, Harris campaigns in Georgia with former President Barack Obama. The star-studded event also features Bruce Springsteen, Samuel L. Jackson, Tyler Perry, and Spike Lee. Tomorrow morning, U.S. Senate candidate Debbie Marcusel Powell joins us live to discuss her plans if elected over Rick Scott. That is tomorrow morning at 7, streaming on CBS News Miami and on CW Miami 33. When we come back, Boeing workers still on strike. What we're learning about why factory workers rejected the aerospace giant's latest contract. Welcome back to CBS News Miami's 4 p.m. Quick Cast. A new Florida law aims to send porch pirates packing, making the theft of goods above a certain dollar amount a felony. CBS News Miami's Christian Benavides introduces us to one South Florida homeowner whose doorbell camera captured a pirate in the act. And he just walked up like he didn't care. Pinecrest uh, homeowner Donovan Clough's ring camera captured the brazen daylight theft of one of his package deliveries. Clough posted the video online and found out his neighbors had been targeted too. In the last two months, every house on the street has been a victim of either a car break-in or a porch theft. A new Florida law in effect this month makes theft of stolen goods worth $40 or more a felony in an attempt to crack down on porch piracy. Data from security.org show package thieves lifted more than $8 billion worth of merchandise in 2023. 44% of Americans reported having a package stolen. 17% said it had happened within three months of that survey. Luckily for Clough, getting the ward out paid off. The culprit saw his picture on Facebook and on the news and ended up turning himself in. Law enforcement relies heavily on doorbell cameras to catch these porch pirates, and many companies take pictures of packages when they leave them. We've had individuals whose medication actually have been stolen. Miami Police Public Information Officer Kiera Delva says the department is taking these crimes seriously, especially as the holiday season approaches. To keep pirates at bay, install a doorbell camera and make it clear your property is under surveillance. Bring packages inside promptly. Choose a delivery time when you're home. Request a signature. If you are comfortable enough to speak with your neighbors, maybe have them be on the lookout for your packages and that way they can hold on to it for you. Clough also hopes a little goodwill goes a long way to end piracy. Oh, I would hope that people would have a little more decency than to not steal from their neighbors or their, the people in their community. Nevertheless, he's got eyes on the front door. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. Pinecrest, Florida. 
Striking workers at Boeing are extending their walk off after a failed contract vote. 64% rejected Boeing's latest four year labor deal. That continues a six week stoppage on airplane production. The new offer included a 35% wage hike and increased health and retirement contributions. But workers say the sticking point is the loss of their pension. It is the direction society is going, and it's not right, it's not okay, but our, our members are, are dealing with that. We haven't been able to achieve that, and I can't say that we will by staying out on strike. Boeing has not commented on the failed vote. Before ballots were cast, the company reported a $6 billion loss last quarter. And that's your CBS News Miami QuickCast. I'm Nasha Sherman. Stay tuned for more news right here on CBS News Miami, and have a great day.